have to bring in the creation and the creator. And so the concept of the creator is an important part of it. And so um, in Vedanta, we look upon the creator, you can look upon it as Ishwara or God, um, in, two, in two different aspects of it. Traditionally, we think about God as a conscious entity who is the creator and the world as the creation. This is how we look upon it. What we fail to realize if we only look upon it that way is that the creator has to build the creation out from material. Now, where is uh, that person going to get the material from? If you say that the creator borrows the material from, you go to, to Safeway to buy it, or to whole, whole Foods or something, that doesn't make any sense. So, in our definition of Ishwara, or a all-powerful creator, we look upon that both as an intelligent cause, as well as the material cause. So what that means is that the material of the world and the intelligence of the world are intertwined. And, and so therefore, the complexity, now to answer your question, the complexity of the world is not there at all at one level and is there for at another level very much like going back to the golden uh, ornaments. In terms of the gold, there is no complexity. He says, what complexity are you talking about? Because I'm gold. Whether I'm separate from each other, I'm still gold. But from the standpoint of utility, or the lack thereof, non-utility, there is a sort of an interplay which appears to be there. And so, in, in, this, in the case of the creator and the creation, at one level there is no, no complexity whatsoever. <laughs>